Hi there guys, nice and swiftly here from Bleed Deep Gaming, here to bring you Act 2 of Quantum Break. Now, through the whole of this gameplay I have been selecting the left hand options, um, so yeah, let's get started, see how we get on. This will be on hard as well guys. Previously on Quantum Break. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. Jack Joyce, in the flesh. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. Paul said it was world changing. Two minutes to the past. Jack. Well, you have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. Zero state. <sighs> what have we done? Ah! Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Oh, you're Jack Joyce. Where's my brother? He might still be able to catch them. Paul? I'm sorry, Jack. I never wanted this. <sighs> We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Ooh. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. Thanks for that. Yes. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Well, that's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate no their timelines, rewind them. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. 
Want us to send additional teams Everybody to Monarch took from the university was on that board. On Two lines to the deceased. Clear any like they were nothing. Jack will come to us at the island tonight. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses. Is this the last of the witnesses? No. Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. Didn't expect to be leaving the university with a kill list. Why not deal with them at the campus? To expose at the campus to finish there. Now, if you wait here patiently, you can have a bit of fun. Goddamn mess. Media's gonna tear a hole in our ass. Who's on barrel and solvent duty? Not me. That's for damn sure. All these bloody collectibles. <clears throat> this elevator looks like the only way out of here. Follow the wire. Turn it on. Somewhere. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks? Paul's at the dry docks? Then that's where I'm... No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. 
William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university. They grabbed me out of a goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? You mother. I'm still fuck figuring you. that out. Keep fighting. Those are my last words to her. So it chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. Drydox. Uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. It's a push. We gotta make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No, not exactly. You messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. We can't let them get away with this. Gate's locked. It's gotta be a too big here. Oh, hey, the gate's open. Okay, uh, gate's closing too fast. Not necessarily. <clears throat> so... Shit. You just... What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Men? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Friggin' sick, man! All right. Not the reaction I expected. I knew this kind of crap existed. Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. <laughs> I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking down and Monarch is involved somehow. It's really not. Climb up here. Here. Is that another one? Okay. Did I try it? Rewind and I'll find out. Didn't do that very well, did I? It's worth a shot. Wait here, I'll try that. These controls sometimes do annoy you. Leaks to ghost stories. Personally, now to get to that door. 
I got theories, man. Check it out. You know how we all got jobs? What makes us think that it's not the same for good? I was starting to get a little antsy out there. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for- Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQL. Hey, Magellan, you wanted to- Hmm, security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Hey, there we go. Contact! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother...
Taxi guy. If you've done that, you need to come over to here. By the way. Jack. Okay, uh, there's a door on the upper level leading to a sky bridge, but looks like you need to turn off security to get it open. How do I do that? Joyce just on the map, there's a screen line that leads from the door to a big square, and that Okay, security's down. Tell me where he is. That was quick. This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? You don't think he's working?
Nick, I'm in the harvesting warehouse. It looks like... Oh. Not your average elevator. Jeff, I found a bunch of files here about your bro. Monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operation surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. There's a collectible just here. Sophia Emerald. Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff. Like <clears throat> Jump back over, yay! Okay, getting closer, I think. Are the collectibles just here? Now, which way's the dry dock? So this thing okay. at the universe. Looks like the trailer has power now. It was bad before. It's real bad now. It's okay. Bad Bobby's mad people. Okay. Paul's so exactly. huh. men had taken the briefcase from Will's car. Power to the lock. Contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Can't take a while to guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as ground zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation.
experiencing signs of an incoming star. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that star hits. Oh, come on. Stutters. You knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. He, he never tried to stop it. told you what he did in that workshop at ground zero no never he hid that part of his life from me nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there and even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later absolutely no entry well, i'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule what the hell what is this? What the hell? What, the hell? what, is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't, do, don't this. do this. Countermeasure. I hope to God this works. Will. It's gone. Survives himself. You're the only other one who's seen what I've 
I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. That's so good. Huh! <sighs> 
goddamn maze in here. Cut me a little close, Jack. I do like how there's perfectly placed boxes where you need. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> Jump. Oh, no, 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 not again. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. And we go up here. My exact words were don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. Deal with it. I love this song. So that's the end of uh, Act Two, kind of. Now we just get to select um, which path we want to choose. Now, as I have said before, I am selecting the left-hand side all the way along. Now we just got to wait for this loading screen, which I fucking hate. What led you to the swimming hole? Well, Will said there was something important in this briefing. Oh. What was All wrong? I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall and a chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was her brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. 
Had to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. The monarch will be turning over court. Hey, Nick. This looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the... Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick. Think. One, one, two, zero, one, one, two, two. Numbers, teleporting taxis. Hey, I think I found a way in. Now you do get to see a little bit of a glitch if this works again. Oh no, it didn't work. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments, okay, perhaps? Twelve thousand dollars. William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first Must animal test. a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. And we're back. This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We got an official statement from Monarch Solutions. Any luck in there? Working on it. Let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> the second time machine. This changes everything. 
If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. <clears throat> and then you can come down here Round and turn this one on. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Now down here there is a bit of intel to get. No, nothing I can make sense of. Corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Yeah. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Here goes nothing. worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Woo! Jesus, look at that thing go! Thank God. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Will's key did that. Yeah. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. Can't insert the date. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. This was the final step. Come on. Set up the machine first. <clears throat> No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video in your Ground Zero. 
Serene's had a crone in research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. Now this is where we get to do the uh, choosing which choice we want. Clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly, or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Now there's a bit of intel to get before you leave this room. Question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice imitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I So, as before, I'm going to show you the right-hand side and then go with the left one afterwards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Up into the past, I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. That 
have seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. So there we go guys, um, that's the end of Act uh, 2 of Quantum Break, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I've been Nice and Swiftly from Bleed Deep Gaming, please like and subscribe to our videos if you want to see more from us, help support the Bleed Deep Gaming channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching guys.